and happy vlogmas day 13 I think who even knows anymore um <laughs> I'm just home from work it is now five o'clock I've been in work since half six this morning turns out I'll be in work from half six all week and apparently I'm also working Saturday and Sunday <laughs> and I'm just like I keep trying times just think of the money Sarah it's Christmas you're gonna need it but at the same time it's like I might have a wedding Friday and it's Spider-Man weekend so like uh. <laughs> so right now I'm just trying to figure out what I'm gonna do for the night I definitely need to sit down first and eat I only had breakfast this morning and then like two chocolate bars um and then I'm probably gonna take Molly for the walk and hopefully I'll have the energy to watch Spider-Man because I'm gonna just have to burn through them this week if I want to do my marathon um so for now that's it but we'll see okay i'm not gonna lie i just fell asleep for half an hour and i don't know about you but i'm not the kind of person that can take a nap and like feel refreshed i feel like i have slept for 10 years and woken up in another dimension <laughs> I i'm just so tired <sighs> i think today's gonna be another boring vlog i'm so sorry i fell asleep at half two half one but i woke up like half four and then i couldn't go back to sleep and of course i'd get up at like quarter past five i kind of gave myself i am not okay <laughs> you know when i was younger i used to give so much of a shit about whether or not i had a bit of eyeliner or some sort of makeup on my face to make myself look okay and now here I am uploading just freely to the internet looking like absolute death but we move um so I'm editing yesterday's vlog right now I'm getting it ready to upload and I realized that the footage of me talking about the amazing spider-man that I had watched the night before there's an issue with so I'll give you my quick recap I'm for the most part I thought it was a great Spider-Man movie I thought it was a great movie I'm my two gripes with, actually I had three gripes one might be a really really stupid thing to say but I'm gonna say it anyway okay one I feel like when you look at Andrew Garfield he looks like a great Peter Parker because he's got that kind of nerdy cutesy look that Peter needs however I think he played him a bit too confident and a bit too cool you know, um, the Uncle Ben scene bothered me so much because you know how there is a moment between when Uncle Ben dies and him like becoming Spider-Man. So he's looking for the guy that killed his uncle and, you know, he's moody and he's upset and he kind of has like you kind of almost forgive him for acting like a dick, basically. Um, but in this one. And I'm trying to remember how it happens in the Tobey Maguire one. So I'm very interested now to go back and see when I rewatch. But in this one, it's almost laid out like... Not that it's Peter's fault, but that Peter has a reason to believe that it's his fault. And that's what kind of turned him to looking for the guy. But it, it just... I feel like there was no need for Peter to be acting the way that he was at that point. And it was like they made him... A bit of an ass just so they could make that scene happen and it just didn't really feel necessary at all um but then again i could rewatch the toby mcguire ones and it could be the same kind of situation and i could totally eat my words so um here's my third thing my possibly really stupid thing if the dude that becomes the lizard is able to grow an animal limb by crossing like species dna could he not have just figured out a way to grow a human arm? Like, could we not have just crossed human with human and got a human arm? My dumb? Is that stupid? I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I'm just way too tired to watch the second one. Uh, like I said, I was in work an hour early. I ended up staying late as well because we were putting together packages for St. Vincent de Paul in work and I volunteered which is really nice but I am just wrecked 
Oh, update on the boohoo jacket. Obviously not the one I'm living in, but remember the green one where the zip was broken? So, because they're going paperless now, I can't just like slap a return label on it. There's like a whole process. There was an issue with the website was basically saying there was nowhere in my area for me to return the jacket through. It was kind of confusing, so I got in contact with Boohoo. They asked me, f they said they'd look into me being able to return it. They asked if I could show them proof of the damage, so I sent them a video. And this girl came back and was like, yep, I see. I'm, I'm going to send you a new one. Do you want to just donate the other jacket so clearly they just don't want it back because it is faulty so i'm gonna have two jackets <laughs> um yeah i'm gonna look into how much it is to get the zip actually repaired and then maybe my sister will take it we'll see but yeah she said that she sent it out today so hopefully by the end of the week i'll have it and you'll get to see me in a whole new jacket whoa <laughs> do you want to <laughs> you wanna go for walkies? Bye! <laughs> Can you sit for me? Did you enjoy your walkies? Whoa! Did you enjoy your walkies? Oh, you're such a beautiful girl. Do you wanna treat? Do you? Do you wanna treat? So hard at one end. <laughs> hey. And cheese. Hey. <laughs> Molly. <laughs> you said no. <laughs> <laughs>